que me agregue y yo, este, ¿cómo se llama? Vaya, Hello. está bueno. Sí, ahí, está en el, ah. ahí está ahorita, ese es mi número de teléfono, agregue. Ah, vaya. Ah, uh, but the teacher Hello, is here. good evening. Can you hear me? We have to stop now. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, Welcome. I was I was checking the connectivity because it, it said I had some problems with Zoom, but now everything is okay. So, how are you feeling today? How was your day today? Very, very busy. Busy? I feel happy, teacher. Happy, excellent. I am tired, but happy. So that's a good combination, I think. Excellent. <laughs> uh, yeah. But tomorrow so, is Friday, teacher. Huh? Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. That's a good that's a good motivation, yes. And also um I like to practice the the philosophy uh from Timon y Pumba, you know, Hakuna Matara. That's yeah. don't worry, be happy. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Okay, so we try, we need to try, we need to try to relax, to keep a positive attitude, right? And um, don't worry about it. Be optimistic, be optimistic. Uh, so we're going to get started with today's class. As you may, as Brandy mentioned, right? Today is, the, well, tomorrow is Friday. So today is the last class that we have for this week. And I have been reading your your information in, in the WhatsApp group about the different tourist destinations in El Salvador. And it's amazing information. It's really good information. I think that we can make a brochure with this information. <laughs> um, we, no just need to add, we just need to I add think, some pictures. We just need to add I some pictures. I think we have right? to travel. <laughs> and we need to travel, yes. So this is a motivation for the next vacation, right? That you can visit one of these places. Um, so El Salvador is a small country, but it's beautiful and it has a lot of different um, options, right? A, a lot of different options. So um, we're going to get started. Uh, first of all, we're going to uh, share. We're going to share a little bit of the information that you investigated. And also, we are going to practice a conversation from yesterday, okay? Because yesterday, only two people uh, participated in the, in the conversation, okay? And um, so, who would like to try? Who would like to try to read the information that you have? Just read the information, okay? If you have questions about pronunciation, you can, say, you can ask me, right? Teacher, how do you pronounce, for example, Giselle? She shared uh, the information. I have the information here on my cell phone. She shared the information about El Pital, right? So, uh, for example, if Giselle has questions like, teacher, how do you pronounce mountain? How do you pronounce montaña in English, right? Mm -hmm. I, I will tell her, okay, the pronunciation is mountain, mountain. Okay, so teacher, you can ask questions, okay? Temperate. Uh, yeah. Temperature. 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 Yes. Centigrados. How do you say? Centigrados. Well, in, in English, uh, we say uh, degrees. Degrees. Ten degrees. Ten degrees. Correct. Okay. Okay. Um, well, that would be 10, gra 10 degrees, right? 10 grados. And now, I don't know, maybe Giselle, you can read just a little paragraph because you have two paragraphs, but maybe you can read just one paragraph. The first paragraph. Ah, the first paragraph is okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, Cerro El Pital is a transnational mountain because located exactly between El Salvador and Honduras. El Pital is the highest peak in El Salvador. It has an elevation of 2,730 meters above sea level. Sí, in addition to its cool climate, it's my favorite sensation. The highest part is a great tourist attraction, signs in the place where El Salvador forced Honduras. Honduras. It's a mountain peak 
Queen Everett. And impressively. 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 Step slope. Step, step slopes. Step yes. Slope. Yeah. And then um, where you were asking me, like, I got confused with grados is degrees, but then if you say centigrados in English is Celsius, Celsius, because we have Celsius and we have Fahrenheit. So in the United States, for example, they say Fahrenheit, but in El Salvador, we say Celsius. Uh, so the temperature is really cold. Excellent. So some claps for uh, Giselle, please. Thank you. The next volunteer, please. Who wants to share? Just a little paragraph. You don't have to read all the information, just four lines, five lines maximum. Okay, so raise your hand to read the information, please. Wait a second. I think that it's not. Uh, I don't know if, I don't see that this meeting is being recorded. So this is a little inconvenience. Okay, wait a second. Can you see on the screen that uh, if this call is being recorded? Because I don't see it here. Yeah, say recording when. when is it you recording are... now? Okay. Yeah, it's recording. It's recording. Okay, perfect. Okay, yeah, now I see it. Uh, I had to zoom in. Um, okay, so if we don't have volunteers, don't worry, I select the volunteers. Um, okay, so uh, Brandy, go ahead. Okay, uh, my place is Sushi Toto. Okay, Sushi Toto. Sushi Toto is a municipality in the department of uh, of Cuscatlan, El Salvador, that has seen a continuous human habitation long before Spanish colonization. Colonization. Uh -huh. colonization. With its uh, municipal territory, Sushi Toto holds the site of the original uh, founding of the village of San Salvador in fifth and 15, 28, 28, that excited for a short existed? time before the mm -hmm. exists, exists, ah, existed. Ex exist for a short time before the site was uh, abandoned. Okay. It has. Uh, uh, okay, because of time, uh, can you mention some of the attractions that people can visit in Suchitata? Mention two or three attractions. Uh, the attraction principal is the lake. Um, the lake. If you can Suchitlan, see this, right? yeah, if you can see uh, this uh, road is not like the city because the, you can see a lot of stone. And yeah. so that's the one of the reason that the people love to go to this place. Excellent. Um, Thank you so much. And the other the way, one? By the way, and uh, you can uh, you can fight for a tour. There are many places uh, where you can uh, check the best price or what what is the place that you want to visit. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, um, if you want to visit this place, the recommendation is uh, wear a sneak, uh, sneaker or tennis because Sneakers, if yeah. you want to if you want to uh, wear high heels or like platform that we love to wear, you going, you're going to have a really problem with this. <laughs> yeah, that's a good recommendation. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, some class for Brandy, please. Great job. Now we're going to continue with, um, let me see who is here. Nelson, you were the first one, go ahead. Hi teacher. Hello. The Boqueron is a protected natural area. Located. He's breaking up. He has, yeah, he has. Located. Maybe Nelson, what you can do is that you can turn off, turn off the camera. 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 Turn off the camera
turn off the camera, a veces al apagar la cámara se Sorry? escucha mejor conexión para hablar. Uh -huh. Can you try now, just speaking? Otra vez, es que donde estoy no la señal no mucho, pero ahorita lo veo. Ok, okay. pruebe solo con el micrófono entonces, sin cámara, a ver si se escucha mejor. Ok. okay. The Boca is a protected yeah. natural area located on the top of the San Salvador. Volcano at 1,800 meters above sea level. The main yes. attract, attraction is a cradle. There is also a small cradle, Calle Bocaroncito. The Bocaron <laughs> has a cold tempered climber. All years has visitors and is a ideal place, place for, for nature nature lovers. Excellent, nature lovers. Okay, class for Nelson. Excellent. Okay, we have the evidence, right? We have the picture in the WhatsApp group. Okay, that he was writing in his notebook. Good. Okay, little by little, little by little, step by step, we are improving. Uh, the most important is that we practice, right? That we do it, that we try. Uh, Leslie, thank you. And then Evelyn. Okay. Hi. Good evening. Uh, okay. Good evening. Volcano in the If you are an adventure lover and you like challenge, it is an excellent place to visit. The flora and fauna then, then can be enjoyed along the way in the magical and this experience also offer a cool climate. Among the recommendation of hikers are hikers. Hikers, uh -huh. are, hikers, yes. Hikers are comfortable cloth, water, sunglasses, sunscreen, cap or hat and footwear suitable for mountaineering for uh, mountaineering mountaineering mountaineering. Uh, mountaineering okay and the words uh, you write it suitable right and the pronunciation is suitable suitable is apropiado or adecuado suitable suitable okay, uh, okay. yeah so this exercise okay. for example this exercise is suitable for you to practice english Okay, and discover El Salvador. So excellent information, Leslie. Claps for her, please. Good job about the Ilamatepec volcano in Santa Ana. Okay, let's continue with Evelyn. And then uh, we will do the next good volunteer. Uh -huh. Good evening. Good evening. Um, it's a uh, taco. A taco uh, is a fondant, is in Mars. On the um on the area one in the department the of the Aguachapan. Uh, many this name attack in has historical pre columbia origin origin origin, and, uh, origin yeah origin origin uh -huh. and also is popular for you uh, cultivate cultivate cultivated cultivated of coffee is has very restaurant very vegeta, vegeta, Be, vegetation vegetation and uh, your your patrons and tain festivity hard is um living at um fishy uh, ten um, Ten five 
on December in honor of Inmaculada Concepción de Maria is very nice visit this place all the time. Nice. <laughs> okay, to visit this place all the time. Thank you so much, Janet. Class for okay. her, please. Um, okay, let me see. I'm going to go on with the next volunteer. So with the next volunteer will be Melvin, and then we continue with Nubia. I love when I listen to my students speak in English. I love it. Okay, I, let's continue. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Good evening. I'm going to talk about the Cocoa Beach. Cocoa Beach, okay. Okay. It's located in San, in San Miguel, in San Miguel City, in the east of El Salvador. Some people say that is the best beach of the country. And this is because it's a beautiful beach. It's perfect to spend a day or why not your vacation with your family or friends. The Cocoa Beach has black sand and calm waters, but you can practice swimming, surf, and fishing, and other activities. You shouldn't miss the delicious seafood that you can find in the, lo in the local restaurants. And in the best, is that they have very low price, perfect for sharing with your family. You will not regret for visiting this paradise. All right, I can confirm that, it's true. <laughs> okay, class for uh, Melvin, who talked about Cocoa Beach. Now we continue with Nubia and then Jancy. Thanks. Um, El Tunco. Tunco, okay. El, the competition, okay. Tunco versus Cuco. Uh -huh. Let's go. El Tunco Beach is the most iconic surf destination in El Salvador. Its name comes from a few rock semi submerger on its beach, which at some remote time suggested to suggested the shape of this cute animal. El Tunco is visited by local and international tourists. It is the perfect setting for many surfer well tournaments and yes. competition are held between, between, between it's other it's countries and Categories. It says that the inhabitant, inhabitants of this beach have lived in a, a burbuja, bubble. Bubble, bubble. 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 Of bubble, joy yes. and prosperity in recent years. The development of host bars and restaurants has grown rapidly, now becoming a world exhibition window for El Salvador. For El Salvador. Perfect. Thank you so much, Nubia. Thank you. It's, yeah, definitely. El Tunco now is really, really popular, especially with Surf City, right? And then we continue with, uh, and what is the name of the park? of the amusement park they have there. I haven't I haven't been there yet. Uh, I haven't gone to the new park, but it looks really nice. Okay, Jancy, what is your destination? Sunset Park. Sunset park correct. Thank you. Sunset Park. Jancy, what is your uh, destination? Um, Jesse, we cannot hear you. Maybe you can check your microphone. Okay, it seems that Jancy has some problems with the microphone, so we're going to continue. Uh, if there are no other volunteers, right now you have a little space, a little moment for sharing. So if you want to read your information, you can do it now, okay? 
Okay, two participants raise a hand. Let me see. We have. Uh, wait, what happened? With only Yancy is raising Oscar. hand. Oscar, raised Oscar, Oscar. Okay, Oscar. Thank you. Oscar. Okay. 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 Um, that's a mal. It's a pre-Columbian archaeological site in Chalchuapa, El Salvador. Tazumal is, a, is an architectural complex within the larger area of the ancient Mesoamerican city of Chalchap, Chalchuapa. Chalchuapa, yes. In Western El Salvador. The Tazumal group is located in the southern portion of the Chalchuapa archaeological zone. Zone. Very good. Thank you so much, uh, Oscar, for sharing information about Tazumal, right? That is, is one of the best archaeological sites that we have in El Salvador. Okay, perfect. So we can continue with the next ones. I think that in the end, uh, it was not possible for Jancy to fix the problem with the microphone. So we just continue, okay, practicing. As you can see, this kind of exercise or homework, it's good because you practice more, you investigate, you learn new vocabulary, and you expose more to the language. Uh, Jorge, you raise your hand. Go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, in this case, I'm going to talk about uh, the Laguna de Pastepeque. Okay. Can you hear Go me, ahead, teacher? Please. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, right now. Um, okay. The Laguna de Pastepeque Recreational Park is a very beautiful tourist place located in the department of San Vicente. This tourist space includes a beach area, <laughs> a swimming pool, restaurant, train, picnic, picnic areas and cabins. You can also admire the landscape cutting. It has a cozy board walk and floating dock from which you will enjoy a mirror of fresh water. Visit us as a family, we are waiting for you. Excellent, there you go. So you should go there. Jenny. Me eh, escucha. I can hear you well, yes. Mm, Alegría Usulotan. It's a place where, with a cold climate where good quality coffee is produced. It's a good tourist destination. You can visit the Laguna de Alegría and the Mirador de la Cien Gradas. Okay, and you can eat delicious food too. Okay, excellent. Thank you for sharing some the information, Jenny. Uh, class for her. And I think Jancy maybe fixed the problem because she's raising the hand. I don't know, Jancy. Did you solve the problem with the microphone? Mm. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Yes, we can hear you now. Okay. Excellent. Uh, Arambala. Arambala is a muni municipality of Morazan. It is a located in the east of the country. It is an area that has important natural and cultural resource. Arambala is the perfect place for doing ecotourism and disconnect of the big cities. Yes. Without any doubt, it is a treasure of Morrison department. The meaning of Arambala is Scorpion River. The main attraction of Arambala is Rio Sapo, which is made up of the other rivers. Finish. Okay, there you go. Where Excellent. is? Yeah. Arambala is in Morazan. Look nice. Yes. Yeah, they have different places, different places to visit, like uh, El Pericón or 
eh, Coparque la Esperanza, you have uh, El Pájaro y la Nube, places where you can rent, you can stay, you can do camping. Mm -hmm. uh, really nice. And there's one that is called La Florecilla. There's another one also. Really nice. Okay, excellent. Uh, Edma, you're next. Okay, teacher. Mm, my place is Perkin. Perkin. Okay. Who is in the apartment of Morazan? A uh, 2,005 kilometer from the Salvadorian capital. It's located at level 30 mm -hmm. meters. Mm -hmm. It is considered a paradise mm -hmm. for lovers of good water places away from the process of the city founded by Lincoln's troops. Its name means town of, of embers. So the activities you can enjoy are clean, clean, bird washing, hiking, mountaineering, of course, swimming in various places in crystal clean waters. Um, I recommend that you include it in your future vacation and get to know the culture of this beautiful place. That's it. That's it, perfect. Okay, I love the fluency that you have, guys. In your, in your speeches, the fluency has been really, really good. Okay, so congratulations also for you, Edmund. Uh, yes, Perkin is a beautiful place as well. Uh, it's close to, uh, well, after Aramala, you get to Perkin. So yes, and now they are fixing, they are fixing the street. So in the, in the this year, probably they are going to finish. So the street is going to be perfect to go to Burkina and Ambala and all those places. Okay, now we're going to continue with the next part. As I promised yesterday, uh, we're going to practice the conversation, right? With more volunteers before we go to the platform. Today, we're going to check the platform as well. So I'm going to share the conversation right now with you. And we're going to have two conversations, okay? So one conversation, uh, two people, and then two more volunteers. And after that, we go to the platform to check your, your the activities that you have to complete. The latest is tomorrow, okay? A más tardar mañana. You need to complete section one and section two. Um, right now, you're going to see the conversation on your on your screen. Just wait a second. Okay, can you see the conversation? Yes or no? Yes, yeah. okay. Yes, yeah. yeah. so, yeah. I want to leave. Okay, remember that one of my, my rules, okay, una de mis reglas es que todos participen en la clase. So the next two volunteers for this will be Norma and Sylvia. Okay. Okay, Sylvia, are you there? I am Thomas. Okay, you are, yes, you will be okay. Thomas and Sylvia okay. will be Elena. Okay. okay. Remember the pronunciation I'm <laughs> going to repeat for you. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. can. Tell me what would you like what would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, so that is a conversation. Ready, okay. set, Ready. go. Okay, can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Yes. Well, what a good time to visit. I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And um, what show and see there? Well, you should the 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 finish you visit the National Museum and go to the Palace and by Arts and by Arts. 
And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the pyramid or the song. It's very interesting. Hear all song really exciting. There you go. Yes, that's correct. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, class for them, please. Don't forget that the pronunciation is pyramid, right? Pyramid. Uh, the pyramid of the sun. Uh, so we have somebody raising the hand. We got uh, Edna and Evelyn. Okay. Edna, uh, okay. you will be Thomas. Evelyn, yes. you will be Elena. Okay. And yes. then, Brandy, you can practice with another volunteer. Okay. Go. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, was a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The water is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Uh, well, yeah, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the place on the Spanish art. On the art. And what else? Oh, you, you should, should miss the pyramid yes. of the sun. Uh, this very interesting. Mm -hmm. Is all sound really exciting? Thank it you. all sounds really exciting. All right, yeah. class for them, please. Excellent. Thank you so much, uh, Edma and Evelyn. Now the last practice, uh, Brandy and another volunteer. Okay, who wants to practice with Brandy? Me, have... teacher. Who is me? Who is me? It's Aura. It's Aura. Aura. Okay, it's Aura. Yeah. Okay, so we go Isaura and uh, Brandy. Hey, Thomas, is, uh, you are Thomas, Brandy, and Elena, you will be Isaura. Isaura will be Elena. Okay, ready, set, and go. I'm Thomas or Elena. You're, you are Thomas. Okay. Uh, can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I to see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the pyramid of the sun. It's very interesting. Uh, it all sounds really exciting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay, there you go. Excellent. Uh, okay, Melvin and Nubia, you want to participate? I'll give you a chance, but let's do it quickly, okay? Because of time. So Melvin, Thomas, Nubia, Elena. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, I can. What a word you like to know. Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The water is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely definitely visit the National Museum, museum and go uh -huh. to museum and go to the, the palace, the place of fine arts. And what else? Oh, you should. You shouldn't you miss. Should, you shouldn't miss the pyramid. 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 Sorry of the sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. It all sounds really exciting. Okay. Excellent, guys. I'm, uh, I appreciate your participation, okay, that you're active 
participants, that's really important, okay? Now, as you can see in the conversation, we have some specific questions and vocabulary. For example, what can I do in Mexico City? Oh, you can do this, you can do that. So affirmative, negative. So this is about possibility, right? So what can I do? Um, so for example, if you come to Samuel and you tell me, hey teacher, what can I do in Samuel? Well, you can go to the beach, you can go to the central park, uh, to the cathedral, you can go to the theater, um, you can visit uh, Moncagua, it's close to the city, you can visit Placitas, uh, there are nice restaurants there. So I can give you recommendations of things that you can do. Uh, you can walk around the city, it's safe, uh, but you can wear, um, for example, a jacket or very formal clothes because it's very hot. So I don't recommend you that. Now, what should I see there? What should I do? Well, if you are in Samuel, you should wear comfortable clothes, relaxing clothes, right? Relaxed clothes. So um, like shorts, sandals, um, say summer skirts, clothes? like summer clothes. Yeah, summer clothes. Uh, no dark clothes, okay? Uh, you, should, you shouldn't miss the opportunity. For example, if you come to Samuel, you shouldn't miss the opportunity to, to eat the panes migueleños. They are delicious and big. So you shouldn't miss the opportunity to eat the panes migueleños when you come. Okay, um, so we use can and should for different purposes. Can is usually for ability or possibilities, right? And should is for advice or suggestion, okay? If I tell you, hey, uh, for example, you know what? I, I have a little problem with my car. Um, what can I do? What can I do? ¿Qué puedo hacer? I have a problem with my car. Uh, you should, you uh, should go to the mechanic and they have to tell you what is wrong with your car because you're okay. not mechanic, you can't fix. <laughs> okay, so you should go to the mechanic. Isaura, what is your recommendation? I think the same. The same, okay. Yeah. Maybe I can ask one expert, right? An, an expert about that problem. Okay, so um, in this exercise, the exercise A, you are going to practice the, to complete the conversations using can, can't, should, and shouldn't. Okay, can, affirmative, can't, negative, should, no se pronuncia la L, should, and affirmative and negative, shouldn't. For example, let's do number one together. I decide where to go on my vacation. I, I can't decide I where should. to go. I can't. I can't. The correct I can. answer is I can't. I can't. I can't decide. Oh, I yes, can't so decide. Yes, yes. I can't. Is I can't decide where to go on my vacation. Okay, that's the correct answer. Okay, now letter B, you go you to India. You should. You? You should. You should, you should go you to should. India. You should go to India. Okay, let's see. You should go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. Okay, it's a recommendation, right? You should go to India. Um, Okay, that's the, the way that you're going to complete the conversations. Okay, so um, quickly because of time, let's see. Let's do number two. What do you think is a compliment? I am planning to go to Bogota next year. Where do you think I can go? I can go. I can go. I can go. Okay, ¿dónde piensas que puedo ir o dónde piensas que debería ir? Um, I should. I should. should. Should, recommendation, right? The should, the should. Uh -huh. Where do you think I should go? 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 Where do you think I should go
You can go anytime. When do you think I should go? You can go? You can go anytime. Any the weather is nice okay. all year. Mm -hmm. okay. Puedes ir a cual, cual, en cualquier tiempo. Uh -huh. Yes, correct. Uh, the weather is nice all year. Like, for example, El Boquerón, right? Or a taco. There are places that you can go all year because the weather is nice. Mm -hmm. Very good. But in Samuel, if you come in, in March, in April, it's really hot. It's not the best time to come. <laughs> I recommend you come here in October, November, December, um, September, okay? But um, yes, now let's go with number three. Can I? Should, should I rent a car? Should I rent? Should I rent a car? Can should I, I can rent I, a car? Can I rent? Should I rent a car uh, when I arrive in Cairo? What do you recommend? Si se fija, la siguiente pregunta dice, ¿qué recomiendas? Entonces estamos hablando de consejo. Should I rent a car when I arrive in Cairo? What do you recommend? No. no. You, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't or you should? Should you should you should you should because it's negative. Oh, you should you should you should look at the compliment. Look at the compliment. You should and efficient. You should. No. You should. Debería definitivamente utilizar el 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 subterráneo, right? Porque es eficiente y rápido. No. You should use the Mm -hmm. Definitely use the subway. Number four. Where? Where? Can. Can. Yeah. Where can I get? Where can I get? Where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? You? You can. You, you can't. You can't. Show them. Show them. You shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't. No deberías perderte el mercado del fin de semana, right? You shouldn't miss the weekend market. Excellent. Somebody Number five. Have, oh, can you turn off what the can I see from? Can. can. What can, what can, can, what can I see? What can, uh -huh. I, see? What can I see from Eiffel the Tower. Eiffel Tower? You? You can, you can see. You can see. You can see. Yeah, see. Excellent. You can see all but, of Paris. But, 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 but in bad weather, you? You shouldn't. You shouldn't see anything. You shouldn't. You can't. No, you can't you see can anything. Can see. You can't see. Pero con clima malo, no puedes ver nada. Okay? No puedes ver nada. No es consejo, les digo que no se puede ver nada en el clima malo. Okay, so yes, that is the correct way to use it. Okay, now eh, let's think about one place quickly. Eh, el Pital. What time of the year should you go there? In your in, in your experience, in your opinion, what time of the year should I go there? You depends. If you like the summer, I think. If you like, I like the cold. cold. I like the cold weather. I like the yes, cold weather. Yes, you like the cold weather. weather. You can should go in December. You or... should or you can. It's a you recommendation. Should. You, you, should. Should. you should. go. go. You should go, go. In December. In December. Yes. Okay. In the spring. Okay. In, in or December. In... Winter or a spring, right? Okay, spring. excellent. Uh, water. Can you buy Sorry. anything special in El Pital? Sorry, is on December or in December? In December. Mm -hmm. In, yes. For the month, we say in. For the days, we say on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, can you buy anything special there? Yes, no. Fruits. Fruits, for example. Uh, Chocolate and coffee, I think. Some berries. How do you say melocotones? Peaches. 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 Yeah, if you watch the Mario peaches. movie, peaches, peaches, peaches. Yeah, okay. Now we continue with the next part. So right now I stop 
sharing and we go with the final parts of the class no, we are going I to... know for this reason oh there you have the sliced peaches they are delicious <laughs> yes uh, my yeah i recommend you to mix it with um, orange juice and condensed milk I will recommend to with the whipped cream if you have pecans or if you have a, a walnut, you can chop it up and uh too. And if you have oh, yeah. uh, with cherries, oh, it's so delicious too. That's a delicious combination. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to get hungry if we talk about food right now. <laughs> Let's ah, continue with the. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I like I like desserts. I like desserts and sweet things. I will uh, I'm going to share this. You can send a picture to the group. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now uh, let me just close this window so we can go to the platform. Okay, I'm just having some. Um, okay, this is closed. This is closed. And now I'm going to share the screen with you. Okay, so uh, something that you have on the platform okay is the following you have the okay i'm sharing the screen with you right now you can see that it's on the platform this is for you to ask questions right in case you have any questions uh, so can you see the the platform now yes no yeah we can yeah. see Yes, yeah. each other. Okay. Perfect. So we have the objective video. You have the 1.4, for example, that is the knowledge check here. Uh, I don't know if you have problems. This is a little quiz, let's say. Uh, you have some questions and you have to answer. Okay. The you need to select the correct answer for the question. Uh, Brandy, you have a question. No, 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 no. No? Okay. I, I saw your hand up. That's the reason oh, why. Sorry. Uh, you know, no problem. So with this little quiz, you don't have problems with these four questions. Okay. So uh, the 1.6 is about conjunction. So you have a video about conjunctions, right? And uh, after that, you have the knowledge check 1.7. This is, a, let's say like the, one of the final evaluations, right? For the section one. So here you have a uh, sentences and two options. One is correct. So you have to se select the correct conjunction, right? Uh, for example, number one, type A is very nice. And or but, everyone is extremely friendly. And. And okay. yes, that is the correct answer, okay? Um, then after that, you have the 1.8, the conversation, what should I see there? Remember that that is a conversation that we practiced yesterday and today. And um, the 1.11, 1, model verse can and should, right? For you to understand more the, the, the two model verbs. Can, as I told you, is for possibilities and also for ability. For example, I can speak English, I can run fast, I can cook, I can drive, okay? And also we use it for possibilities. Uh, in my country, I can visit any place, I can eat whatever I want, so possibilities, right? Uh, in my job as a teacher, I can help students, I can help people, I can teach, I can, uh, work in different institutions so i can do a lot of things as a teacher now um, the 1.12 the knowledge check okay this you have a uh, completed conversations using can can should and shouldn't that is what we were practicing in the previous exercise okay as you can see here and then uh 1.13, wait a second, I'm going to move the window here. You have a, the pronunciation of can and shouldn't. 
something important here is that when you are, uh, for example, I'm going to play here the track. When you are uh, saying a negative, listen. Wait a second. Pronunciation. Can't and shouldn't. Part A. Listen and practice these statements. Notice how the T in can't and shouldn't is not strongly pronounced. You can't go shopping on Sundays. You shouldn't swim at the beaches. You can't get a taxi easily at night. You shouldn't miss the night markets. Okay, so in this exercise, you can hear, right, that when they use the negative form, they don't pronounce the T, okay? They barely pronounce it. So, for example, I can't speak Italian. I can't speak Italian. So, teacher, how, if you have the question, like, how can I identify the difference in affirmative and negative, right? Eh, si no pronuncia la T, ¿cómo diferencio? So, the difficult. emphasis, the emphasis is the difference. For example, in the affirmative, I say, I can play soccer, for example, is affirmative. In the negative, I can't play uh, tennis. So what I do in the affirmative is that I emphasize, I put the emphasis in the verb, play. I can play soccer. I can play soccer. I can play soccer, right? So you put more emphasis on the verb. Now, in the negative, you put more emphasis in the auxiliary. I can play tennis. I can play tennis. Can play. Can play. And affirmative, can play. Can play. I can play soccer. I can play tennis. I can play soccer, but I can't play tennis. So that is the difference, okay? The emphasis. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes? Hello, uh, question? Uh -huh. Sometimes uh, some people, some people in uh, the form negative say, say uh, I can't, can't, or can't. Yeah, when, when it's the short answer, cuando es la respuesta corta, sí se pronuncia. You say, can you play tennis? No, I can't. Okay, porque eso es la respuesta corta sin verbo. Okay. Uh, for example, should I go to the doctor if, um, for example, if I have a headache? Eh, no, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Solo por un dolorcito de cabeza, ah, you shouldn't. So it's short answer, porque no tenemos el verbo, la par solo la, la respuesta corta. En esos casos, sí. But normally, it's not, it's not common, okay? It's not normal that people say, for example, I can't play tennis. It's not, I mean, it's too exaggerated. Eh, nadie o casi nadie lo utiliza. De esa, lo pronuncia de esa manera. Sí. Except... Maybe except for British. Probablemente los británicos sí, ellos sí pronuncian casi todos los sonidos. And they say, I can't believe it. Okay, but that's different. Is In American English, it's different. Okay. Um, so that is the example and that I wanted to tell you, right? So for this, you need to practice, right? Practice, create negative sentences. For example, my recommendation about this topic, uh, write negative sentences and affirmative sentences and practice saying them, right? Escriban oraciones afirmativas, negativas y practiquen diciéndolas para ver si logran eh, enfatizar, ¿verdad? Cuál es positivo y cuál es negativo. So it's practice, it's repetition, right? Now, um, then we continue with the next part that is, uh, after 1.14, wait a second, it's loading a little bit slow. The two, right? Health problems, for example. Uh, so in the section, you have the little video, okay? Something that we're going to be practicing on Monday. Uh, health problems, we have the lesson objective. 
infinitive complement, okay? Ask, give advice, okay? You have that over here. And um, the knowledge check for this, you're going to be doing, for example, what should I do for a sore throat, okay? Uh, it's important, and then you have to complete it, right? With the infinitive. The infinitive is the preposition to plus the verb. For example, it's important to take some vitamin C. Number two, what should I do for a fever? It's a good idea to liquid. Drink. 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 Lots of liquids. Drink. Very good. What should I do for a burn? It's sometimes helpful to, oh, to, put. to, to put, put some ointment so on it, mean, poner algo de ungüento sobre la quemadura, right? Okay, number four. What should I do for a toothache? ¿Qué debería hacer para un dolor de diente? Toothache. Yeah. It's, it's important to visit, dentist. To visit, to visit to go, or to see to a dentist. Go to, to, see, to, to go see to a, a dentist, dentist. Right? You can say to go to a dentist or to see a dentist. Okay. Uh, Leslie, you have a question? In this exercise, I can I can do your okay. In this time, in the board, don't can. No sé cómo se. I no lo pude hacer. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Oh, mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. Okay. I'm going to show you in the moment. I'm going to show you the answer in the moment because yeah. you almost finished this, right? What should I do for a cough? It's a good idea oh. to take some medicine. Take, take some take medicine. medicine. Right? Take some medicine. To take some medicine. So um, loading, loading, loading. Wait a second. I'm just going to show you, right? Uh, here to see a dentist or to go to a dentist so you oh, have the two options you. right to get thank some medicine you. or to take some medicine you're dead yes so that is the correct answer now uh, we continue right and you have the okay. hello I have a question what is the question and uh cuatro yo ponía to visit y me tiraba error uh -huh. is, you say to go or to, go to see, to, to, go to go to a dentist to... or to see a dentist. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have to go, you. to go or to see. Mm -hmm. to to You're see. welcome. Okay, then you have the model verbs can and could, may for requests and suggestions. Can, could, may para solicitudes o sugerencias, right? So you see the you watch the, the video, right? It's uh, not too long. And then you have the knowledge check. So in this case, for example, uh, you have to complete with one uh, model verb. Can, could, may, have, try, suggest, or should. Okay, remember that at the beginning of the question, you need to use capital letter, right? Al inicio de las preguntas, siempre va letra mayúscula. For example, letter A. Can I, I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? Yes. I I mean call, yes. Call. Yes. So can I have some for each ace? Ice. In some cases, more than one answer is possible, right? In some cases, more than one response can be possible. So can I can I have something for call. each ice? Okay. Sure. I so yes. I suggest. I suggest. I suggest a bottle of eye drops. What do you have, have, have for sore have muscles? For sore for muscles. Sore muscles. When, when you go to the gym, right? The muscles. Okay. Uh, uh, you should. You should try this. You should try this, try this ointment. It's um, excellent. Ointment. Okay. Dolocrim. 
Okay, let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I have a Can I have a box? Can I have Can I have Can I have a box of bandages, please? The last curitas, right? Uh, and what do you have for insomnia? Uh-huh. Right. Some right. Some right. It's Preva, right? Preva, right. intenta. Okay, you show the answers. Okay. And then try, have, or suggest, can, could, or may, should, have, suggest, suggest, can, could, or may, may, or can. Okay. And you go like that, right? You go like that with uh, listening. Try this, for example. This is listening and complete the exercise. Listen and complete. Listen and answer. Okay? It's a little exercise to practice your listening comprehension. And we finish with uh, the last part. Well, that's it, right? Uh, that lesson three, we go later. Uh, so right now, we're finishing lesson two. So right now, uh, I stopped with the explanation on this. Uh, I don't know if you have questions right now for this first week, if you have comments, suggestions, questions, problems, tell me. <laughs> this is your moment to Thank you. ask Everything me questions. Okay, yes, we need we need to improve our pronunciation, I think. Pronunciation, okay, yeah. Pronunciation is something that you improve uh, in the process, in the process, okay? Uh, something I have to remember, algo importante que, que tienen que recordar es que la pronunciación no se, no se mejora de un solo. La pronunciación de las cosas que a mediados o ya un poquito más avanzadas que uno va corrigiendo. Lo importante al principio es agarrar confianza, fluidez, vocabulario, un poquito de estructura para ir formando las oraciones y ya luego uno en el camino va poniendo más atención a la pronunciación. Pero al okay. principio equivocarse está bien. Así que que se equivoquen en pronunciación, ahorita está bien. Es aceptable. Obviamente yo le voy a corregir en lo que, en lo que pueda, de buena manera, con buenas intenciones. Uh, and, um, and just pay attention, right? Pay attention to, I mean, practice listening, right? Watch videos, watch movies, series, news. Okay, a little podcast, listen to the, I mean, to things in English. Podcasts are really good. Uh, so to train and adapt your hearing, right? Uh, hay que adaptar y entrenar el oído, okay? Um, entre más escuchamos, más procesamos y mejor pronunciamos porque repetimos como escuchamos, okay? Pero si solo escuchamos a Bad Bunny, no mejoramos. Okay, so <laughs> that will be all for today, guys. Uh, it was a pleasure to see you all. I'm going to just take a little screenshot in three, okay, wait a second. I want to see everybody. Eh, quiero ver si puedo tomar una screenshot con todos. Um, okay, to finish the week one. So if you can activate your camera for a moment, that would be great, okay? So we can take a picture. Okay, uh, wait, not, for Facebook, not for Facebook, wait, just for the WhatsApp group. Only for the WhatsApp group, not for Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You shouldn't do it, we're not ready. No tiene camera. Ah, uh, don't worry, don't worry, it's okay. So, we have it in three, two, one, smile. Perfect, we got it. You got the Colgate smile, so it's a Colgate, right? Okay, guys, so have a great weekend, take care of yourself, keep on practicing, and I'll see you on Monday, okay? See you on Monday. Okay. Okay. Good night. 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 Good Okay. Good night. 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 Thank you. Okay, Bye. goodbye, Good guys. Take care. Good night. Good night. Hasta la vista.